But police say, uh, as you said, that this could have been much worse and the damage at the restaurant. This is where the destructive path ended. It's boarded up at the moment, but the owner hopes to reopen soon. And here's what police had to say about this incident. 50 year old Aaron Marconi posting bail from his hospital room after police say he was under the influence and drove this smashed pickup truck on three wheels down a busy Portsmouth Street on New Year's Eve. It was dragging sparks debris all along Islington Street. Allegedly crashing into parked cars and businesses before an Uber driver held him at gunpoint until officers arrived. I think this Good Samaritan's uh, actions uh, definitely stopped further uh, damage and and probably averted a tragedy. As people went downtown for the first night celebration, nearby police say Marconi hit two cars, then damaged this Dunkin' Donuts before slamming into Nikki's Bon Me and Darlene's subs. Shocking, <laughs> shocking, because we were hit on the other side of the building not long ago. The restaurant's owner is grateful no one was hurt. Everything else could be, you know, worked on, fixed, but you can't fix a life. Police say two Good Samaritans followed Marconi, trying to end the danger by blocking him at the restaurant. Marconi allegedly threatened to kill one of them. That's when the Uber driver pulled the gun. Uh, it was legally owned. Uh, he abided by all you know, New Hampshire state laws. Um, he felt threatened and he was keeping the suspect at bay until police could respond. Marconi charged with DWI drug possession and there could be new charges. Well, what do you do? You cry or you just, you know, try to be positive in 2019. I'm hoping that it gets better. There are also several apartments in this building, which investigators say is structurally OK. Marconi will face a judge next week and police would like to hear from anyone else who may have been impacted yesterday. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.